by year eight, how are you going? That's great. So the next exercise we're going to do is called increasing and decreasing by a percentage. It's really easy actually. So for instance, if you go to the shops, this is real life maths, when are we going to use this in life? Well, you go to the shops and you want to buy a t-shirt and it says it's marked down by 25%. You've only got a little bit of money, you're not sure if you can afford it. It was $80, but it's being reduced by 25%. So how much is that going to cost you? So what you need to do, two steps. Work out what the discount is, it's 25%. So you work out 25% of the $80, and hopefully you work that out as $20. And then the last step is go $80 minus $20, because it's $20 discount, and it gives you $60. So it's easy peasy, and it's real life maths, isn't it? All right, and sometimes amounts can be discounted, and the opposite of discounted means it's marked up, which means it's increased by a certain amount. So that's not very good, but that happens in real life. So, I said here, here's our two steps. If you copy down the notes. Remember, pause the video if you need to. So copy down the notes, pause it, leave spaces for the examples, and there's the exercise at the end. Or you can copy it all down at the end if you like. I'll give you a chance to in a few minutes. All right, so there's two steps. Find the amount of the discount or the increase. So we know how to do that, finding percentages of an amount. And the second bit is simply add or subtract that amount from the original value. So let's do some examples. This one's easy, this exercise. So find the cost if $250 is marked up by 12%. So it's going to be more expensive. So it's a markup. So first step, we need to find out what 12% of $250 is. So 12% is 12 over 100, if you remember that from the previous exercise, times by 250 over 1. So we just did this in the last exercise. Let's simplify. So we'll chop a 0, chop a 0. The 10 and the 25, 5 goes into both. 5 goes into 10 twice. 5 goes into that 5 times. And look at that, we can cancel the 2 and the 12 as well. 2 goes into 2 once and 2 goes in 12 6 times. So all this is is 5 times 6, 6 times 5, which is 30. So we worked out that the markup of 12% of that amount is $30. So that's our first step. The second step is just added on to that. So the cost is, I'll write here, the cost is $250 plus $30, and that adds up to $280. So don't forget the units, dollar sign, and $280, and there's our answer. That was easy. Let's go to another example. Find the cost if a dress at $150 for the formal coming up, or whatever, is discounted by 20%. So let's work out 20% of that. So 20% of 150 over one. Okay, there's our problem. Let's simplify it. I'm gonna chop one zero from the top line with one zero from the bottom line. But I can also chop one zero from there with one zero from the top line. And on the bottom line, it's just one times one, which is one. And on the top line, we've just got two times 15, which is 30. So 30 over one, which is 30. So the discount is $30. So how much do you pay for the dress? So the cost of the dress is $150 minus the $30, which is $120. That's how much you have to pay. All right, let's do the last one. Find the cost if GST 10% is added to $480. So if you know GST is a goods and services tax, so it's a tax that the government add on. Sometimes shops don't add that on, they, they add it on at the end. So they might advertise a certain price. In this case, they've said it's $480, but you have to add on the 10% GST. So you're gonna have to pay more. So we have to work out what that is. So 10%, of $480 over 1, we can chop a 0, chop a 0, chop a 0, chop a 0, and it's just 1 times 48, which is 48. So it's $48. And hopefully you knew the shortcut, 10% of 480 is just $48, you chop a 0 off anyway. 10% of something's easy. So, that's added to $480, so the cost is $480 plus the $48, and it adds up to $528, because you add those two together, and there's our answer. 
So this exercise was pretty easy. So simply find out the amount of the increase or decrease and then add or subtract it onto the original amount and you're done. So here's the exercise. So it's 3i, 1 to 10, page 166. I'll go back over the notes now so you give you a chance to copy down and fill in the examples if you want to. Make sure you keep your notes up to date. Pause it if you need to, pause it, and then press play again. Good job guys, there's one more exercise to do, and then we're done for the, for the whole topic. See you later.